welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. Welcome back to another getting started with paint.net tutorial. In today's video, we will be going through a few of the basics in paint.net. And the first thing we are going to be taking a look at is creating a new document and then adding some text and a shape and then saving that image. To start off with, first we need to click on file in the top left hand corner. As you can see, the area on my screen is completely gray, which means we don't have a blank document open at the moment. If we click on file, we can then click on new. You can also press Ctrl plus N on your keyboard to open up this window. We now have a few options. And the first option we want to do is change the width to whatever width you want the document to be. Mine is currently on 800 and the height is on 600. Let's just change that to, I don't know, 1200. And then let's just change the height to 1200 as well. As you can see, the new size of our document is going to be around about 5.5 megabytes. We can now go ahead and press OK. And there is our new document. We can hold down Control and press the scroll on our mouse to zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to actually zoom it about there. That's about the right zoom that I like. In the bottom right hand corner, we have our layers. The bottom left hand corner, we have our colors. The top left hand corner, as you can see, we have our tools. And the top right, we have our history. You can toggle all these windows by going to the top right hand corner of paint.net and you will see all these icons. We can then simply just deselect them and it will hide the windows. We can also use the shortcut keys to bring them back. For example, tools, it's F5. History is F6. Then we have our layers, F7, and we have colors, F8. There we go, fantastic stuff. I'm now going to go over to my tools window, and we're going to select this text icon. This will allow us to create some text, but before I do the text, I want to create a new layer. So if we want to make any adjustments to the text, like move it around on our document, we will then be able to do this. Otherwise, we won't. To create a new layer, all we need to do is go to our Layers window and then click on the new layer icon. As you can see, we now have a layer 2, which means we can then go ahead and create our text. And I'm just going to call this text computer sluggish. You must keep that text selected. As you can see, mine is currently selected still. I've not clicked off that text to be able to change the font and the size in paint.net. I'm going to go ahead and select size 84 and let's just move that roughly in the center. We can then change the font from Calibri to, I don't know, let's have a little look. Let's go with, let's go with David. There we go. Good old David. We can then change the color as well of the text. Notice I still haven't clicked off the text. It's still in the original text, which means I could add more text on the end. We can now go ahead and change the color using our color window. And I like blue. Let's change it to blue. There we go. That actually looks really good. And we can also make it bold by going up the top here. And next to our font size, we have a B, which will make it bold. Like I said, you can move the text around just simply hovering over. And you have like the four arrows, which allows us to move our text. We can now select our cursor tool in the toolbox and that will deselect our text. We can still move the text around because it's on this new layer. If we had have added it to the background layer, then it would have moved the white background as well. But this layer is transparent. As you can see in the layers, it has the gray and white boxes, which means transparent. Actually, if I delete or hide the background layer by simply deselecting this checkbox on the layers, window you will then see that the background is actually transparent there we go right i'm now going to create a new layer 
by going back to my layers window and selecting new and let's just deselect off that by simply selecting our rectangular tool and then click it. I'm now going to select a shape and we're going to select rectangle. We're now going to select what we want to do with that shape. We want to actually fill that shape. If you want to fill it and do an outline, you can select that and then you then have to select two colors on the colors window. But I'm going to go draw fill shape and let's go with, I don't know, let's go with red. And I'm simply going to draw over my text like that with a red rectangle. And you're now thinking, oh my God, you've lost that text. But I actually haven't lost that text because if I now click on my select tool, which is shortcut S, it deselects my rectangle, which means I can't make any more adjustments to that shape. But if I now go back to my layers window, let's just expand that up by simply hovering over and expanding. We can now move that layer down below layer two by holding down the left mouse button and then dragging it below layer two. There we go. You can now see the text is actually inside the rectangle and we can actually move that over a little bit. There we go. And there we go. We have a bit of text and now we have a shape as well. And we have a transparent background, which means no background will be on the text. I'm now going to show you how to save your image. All you need to do is click on file in the top left hand corner and go down to save as. Because we have a transparent background, we want to save this as a .png. But if you want to keep all the layers in everything, to actually save the project, you need to save it as a .pdn. I'm going to go ahead and save the project file first which means we're going to go safe and we can always open it up as it is now by opening up that file. Now to export this image as a .png, all we need to do is go back to file and go save as, and we now need to click on save as type and select .png. I'm going to save this to my desktop and I'm now going to keep it as untitled and go save. And we're just going to leave everything on auto and go OK. And we then need to select flatten. As you will notice in our layers, we've now lost all our layers. But because we originally saved our project file, we can then go back to file open. And we can then open up our untitled .pdn file. And oh, no, sorry, that's my desktop one. I need to go back to my pictures. And there it is, untitled. And go open. And there we go, we have all our layers back. If we now minimize paint.net and open up our untitled.png file and just go OK. There we go, we have a nice little logo there with a transparent background. And it really is that simple. I hope this tutorial did help and it wasn't too complex. Um, if there is a tutorial that you'd like to see me do in paint.net, please head on over to my forum and make a request and I will see if I can do it. And if you did find this tutorial helpful, then hit the like button below and subscribe for more paint.net tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.